hello guys good morning and welcome back again previously we added this timestamp and we also make our card to be you know linkable in the sense when we click on it it redirects us or it directs us to to view page of that note and that is perfect and also we created some space between the note itself and um and the timestamp all right so uh, in this tutorial we are going to focus on mobile responsiveness so um what why are we going to focus on mobile responsive this is not application most of the time our users might they, they might not use their laptop to assess our notes they they either use tablet or small mobile devices and that is why we want to focus on mobile responsiveness now when you look at this note on a smaller screen it isn't bad but it's not perfect when you when on a on look at what happened when you increase it you see the card is a bit responsive the way they they change in size that is good but um to some point they are not to some point they are not look at how shrinky it is over here but let's open up this guy inspect it and um minimize this you see on 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 a bigger screen we have just one two three four while on our own we still have one two three four five six that isn't um, the way professionals do their stuff okay we should give them more space look at this look at this so this is our target this is what we want to achieve so that it will be more responsive and fluidy look at what happened over here just focus your attention here so as we shrink more those side just disappear and that is what we want to achieve for us to maintain a very nice um width enough uh web application so without further ado let's get started let's open our php rad so um we want to go to our notes um we've made things custom so we are going to code inside here edit it in windows all right that's pretty funny so come over here we are going to change this call lg2 we are going to make it call xl2 and call md we are going to make it call lg3 then call sl we are going to make it call md4 then call you know anything downwards can be six that is um that's our target for now and we hit okay preview it you're not going to notice anything wonderful until you start you know refresh it on bigger device then start shrinking let's shrink as you can see it just it's changed immediately that's perfect that's exactly what we're expecting okay you notice something just happened right now and that is beautiful so the next thing again is we want this guy to disappear on smaller screen from cool sm we just want it to disappear just like that so how are we going to achieve that we can come over here down here that says cool one um but let me show you where we are okay so that you will know exactly where we've gotten we're talking about mobile responsive and we talked about colon adjustment of which we've done and we have we have not completed the colon adjustment we just handle handled um we just handled the cards colon what about this guy we've not done it so let's complete the colon adjustment let's come over to over here we have cool one we are going to type something we are going to say cool we are going to say display to be known but we want it to start showing as in the display to show on cool sm to be block so we say dsm on a smaller screen upwards the display will be blocked if this if it's lesser than just sm screen it should disappear so um let's test it again let's test it again minimize it it's still there but when we smaller screen as you can see it has disappeared from 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 scene and that is perfect okay that is perfect but when you look at this um the width of this thing at, at some level of us at some point is more of goes inside so much that you may not like it okay look at, at this point it's too close inside um you might decide to give it a specific width and to do that we need to give this thing a class we need to call it something so i'm going to call it um side 
um, sidebar sidebar okay note let's make it note note side bar all right so let's copy this thing copy it come over here to our css move down here dot v and let's style it we are going to say width width to be 70 pixels just like that and we hit ok preview it as you can see the width is 70 pixels we can reduce this width and make it 60 pixels like this let's see if it's going to change anything it's like it doesn't change anything sidebar width width 60 pixels we want to make it important so that it will override important it will override any other css style we are not getting any effect what's going on we are not getting any effect what is going on uh, okay let's check it again note sidebar copy css note sidebar v display with 60 pixels okay we are not going to it's true we you can't but you can make it max max width max width to be 60 pixels and you can also give it minimum width to be the same 60 pixels so that it's more of tricking bootstrap you know we are using bootstrap so let's trick bootstrap as you can see it has shrink down to what we want that's that's perfect so let's open uh, our chrome and refresh it again to see what we are going to have that's beautiful that's beautiful but it tends to show some some stuff down here and hide them on a on a gif so let's shrink oh, okay oh, okay that's that's cool that's cool i think i love that i think i love it it's fixed but what if we can give it 70 pixels okay let's give it kind of 70 pixels all right so let's let's view it we have given it extra 10 pixels refresh this thing all right we've given it extra 10 pixels okay boom all right that is that is a bit responsive let's choose normal screen all right that's cool that's cool but the pattern seems to be much the padding seems so much so this is what we are going to do over here we give it a pattern of 20 we are going to make it padding top from top the pattern from top should be um 20 then 20 pixels the pattern from left and right should be 15 15 pixels and um we want the height to be want to add it some light like, something like more 20 pixels of the height because of the padding we give it top and down um it looks like this and we can now view it on a browser refresh it okay stays kind of more length here so now i think we are a bit okay i'm going to close this inspect of a thing and i'm going to go back here so we are done with the colon adjustment let's talk about note card we want to we want to truncate the test so why is it important for us to truncate the test i'm going to look at what we have here i think we should adjust this thing immediately we should give it a minimum height of i'm sorry for this we should give it a minimum height of 100 vh okay give it mean height mean height of uh height of 99 point seven vh save it okay um preview it um come down to chrome refresh it okay you can see it has still down i'm sorry for this guy as you can see it have still down from top down all right so let's go forward to where we are here all right so the next thing we want to do um remember this guy remember this guy uh, we are done with this we are now coming to do note card test truncate why is it important when let me let me add more notes here when you select this guy and type type a whole lot of stuff inside here let's say i love to code 
but most of the time um, I'm very busy with my job that's 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 why I make much I make much videos when I get a little a little a little free time I don't I don't I don't know what what you think what you think about it but I love all all of my fans all right we save this thing as you can see the test is now lengthy so we go back so take a look at what's going to happen you can't see that timestamp again okay so we want to truncate this test in the sense that when you type something as lengthy as some given numbers it's going to cut it so that when you view it you can be able to see the entire notes okay so how are we going to achieve that we are going to use a function in cmphp rad called string truncate but we want to know the specific number of tests we can truncate right so let's count it this is new three four five six or is there's no need to count it though let's let's just start doing something open php rad edit it here move down to over here we have uh php echo data notes all right so we are going to echo let me let me make this thing like this we are going to echo string string truncate and put it inside this bracket and uh, we put comma after our data and um, you can decide you can just put um the number of tests you want to truncate after that the rest will be cut short i want to count eight the rest of it should be cut short all right so you can see it after 80 letters is going to cut the rest short okay um let's view it from a smaller device all right i think it's pretty it's pretty new success note i love to code but most of the time i'm very busy with my dot 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 if you want to continue reading you just click on it it takes you to the rest of the messages and you keep reading or you can type more inside it i think that is beautiful if you ask me <laughs> all right so um the next thing again we want to do here is that we want to We've added note card test truncate. We want to call to action buttons. So call to action buttons. What are we going to do with call to action buttons? Call to action buttons is this guy we have here. Okay. And um, this guy we have here. That is the call to action button. But apart from that, you notice that this guy or uh, this application we made earlier on is having issues because there's no button for you to create a new note unless you are on a bigger screen that's when you get that button so we are going to fix that error in our new application like this one we want to fix it in the sense that when you're on a smaller screen it's going to give you that option even if that option should hover somewhere around here or somewhere around here there's no problem all we want is to get that hover effect for us to add new notes just like what we have in google keep all right so should we continue that in our next tutorial or we should continue it let's check how many minutes i've consumed 14 minutes so it's it's long enough so in our next class we are going to complete these two things we are going to complete call to action button and colon sm float button so without further ado thank you so much for quality day